YouTube, it's good to be back. A little bit different setting right now as I am currently traveling for work in a hotel. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry. If the production quality is not quite what you were expecting, I guess I'm sorry, but not really. So let's get into it. A lot of people have been asking me what you got to do with your guns if you're moving to California. Now, this is something that most Californians don't really know in, look into, so when people ask their friends or if they look around, they might not have that information easily accessible to them. So I wanted to go over that for the potential future Californians that are moving to the state and they want to be able to follow the laws and not get in trouble. Whether or not you agree with them is beside the point. This is just about following them so that you can live a life that does not end up with you in jail, which we all want to avoid, I'm sure. We're gonna talk about first, kind of in order, what you can and cannot bring, what you gotta do to some things to modify your current items to make them legal, and then we're gonna jump into some bonus tips, some things that you need to do in a certain time frame, and then some things that you might want to do in order to prepare before you move. What can you not bring? California has what's called assault weapon laws, and now this affects a couple different types of guns. Pistols, rifles, and shotguns all have their feature or characteristic based bans. There's also some guns that are banned by name. And then there's certain guns that are banned based on the caliber and other things like that. And we'll kind of go down that in the list of order. I might be reading off my phone at times just so I don't mess this up, but I will also be linking information down below so that you can make sure that your guns don't fit those categories. So let's talk first about rifles. Semi-auto centerfire rifles with detachable magazines. There's a certain set of features for a semi-auto centerfire rifle with detachable magazines that you cannot have. Pistol grips, thumb hole stocks, folding or telescoping stocks, a grenade launcher or flare launcher, a flash suppressor, not a muzzle brake, just a flash suppressor is illegal, or a forward pistol grip. So those are the features that if you have them, your gun, if it's a semi-auto centerfire rifle with detachable magazines, would be illegal. Now you have a couple options with this. You can either go featureless, meaning you remove all of those features that I described so it's still semi-auto, center fire with detachable magazines, but now it doesn't have the features, so you're good. I have some videos about that and I'll link to them up here, possibly down below, so feel free to check those out. Moving on to pistols. So for your pistols, the features are different, but slightly similar. On pistols, so an AR pistol or an AK pistol, or just a regular handgun, you cannot have a threaded barrel capable of accepting a flash suppressor, forward hand grip, or a silencer. You cannot have a second hand grip, meaning your guns like Uzis, uh, Thompson's, things like that with pistol, like grips up front or a second hand grip of any kind up front cannot have that. Now the barrel shroud, um, basically this is referring to anything that covers the barrel that is not the reciprocating slide on a handgun. The capacity to accept a detachable magazine at some location outside of the pistol grip. So going back to like the Tech 9s, that kind of gun, any pistol, with a magazine ammunition source that is not in the pistol grip that you use to control and fire the gun, can't have that feature. The only way to have a AR or an AK pistol in California is if it's fixed magazine. There's plenty of videos about that online. I have some as well. If you're looking for a fixed magazine solution for either your pistols or your rifles, I recommend Cross Armory. There's a ton of other companies out there, um, but me personally, I've dealt with Cross Armory. I've worked with them a lot before and I like their action. But there's plenty of other options that are cheaper, maybe easier to install, maybe harder to install, maybe more expensive, more features, more doodads, whatever. There's a lot of options out there, so just do some research on those, compare them, figure out what's best for you. We're jumping into the shotgun category. Now, shotguns are actually a little bit easier. Um, basically, if you have a semi-auto shotgun, then you cannot have both a telescoping or collapsible stock or a folding stock, with a pistol. There's a specific Benelli M4 that fits this category that has that slightly adjustable stock and a pistol grip, can't have that. All of the other versions of the Benelli M4, pretty much okay. You can't have any semi-auto shotgun that has detachable magazines, so that's pretty unfortunate. You would have to make it a fixed magazine solution that requires you to disassemble the action to remove. Not a fan of those. Now, a specific gun within the shotgun category that most people are gonna be like, why is that illegal? Is the Taurus Judge. Now, the Taurus Judge is a revolving cylinder shotgun. Kinds of guns that have the revolving cylinder shotguns 
can't have those, can't have the Taurus judge either. So that was the basics of the assault weapon laws. There's a couple other things like you can't bring your 50 BMGs, you can't bring um, any of the ARs or AKs that are banned by name. So the Bushmaster XM15 and a variety of other ones. Again, I'm gonna leave a link to all the assault weapon ban laws below because there are some ARs and AKs and FALs and all kinds of other guns that are banned by name that you can't bring. This video would be way too long if I read them all out. So I'll leave that link below as well. So we just covered what you can't bring. And now chances are you're gonna be like, shit, I can't bring my AR or AK. You can, but you're gonna have to make sure that you make it either featureless or fixed magazine. Featureless basically means that it doesn't have any of the features that I described. Fixed magazine is gonna mean that the gun requires you to disassemble the firearm action in order to remove the mag. ARs have a ton of great options. AKs have some pretty good options as well for fixed magazine. But my personal recommendation is always gonna be featureless if possible. With AR and AK pistols, you can't go featureless because the magazine being outside of the pistol grip is not an option. You can't really get rid of that. It's always gonna be there. So you're gonna have to go fixed mag on that. So now that we've covered what guns you can't bring, I also wanna cover a couple other things. Magazines, this is a topic that gets brought up all the time in the concept of moving here. They're like, what do I do with my magazines that hold more than 10 rounds? Well, unfortunately, you can't bring them into the state. So your options are either sell them in the state you're currently living in or get rid of them in the state you're currently living in or convert them to be permanently modified to only hold 10 rounds prior to coming here. Personally, I would recommend selling them off because then you get your money back and you can use that to then buy the 10 round mags. I have a video that talks about the further implications of what we call Freedom Week, which discusses the concept of magazine bans and proof of burden of proof. So I'll link that there. Magazines, if you want to bring them legally, you're gonna to have to convert them to only hold 10 rounds. I'm gonna kind of leave it at that and let you do your own research on what you wanna do because I just wanna tell you what the law is. You can do whatever it is you choose to do, but I am not gonna ever recommend that you break the law. So now that you know what guns you can and what guns you can't and what you gotta to do to your current guns that you have, we're gonna talk about how to actually register them. Now there's a specific form on the California Department of Justice website and I will link to that. I'm gonna read this out from the website just so that I don't mess up the letters and numbers. But in order to file a form saying that I am bringing guns into the state as a new resident, you're gonna to have to complete and fill out a new resident report of firearm ownership, BOF 401 OA. This is a PDF document that you can fill out online and then send it off to the California Department of Justice Bureau of Firearms. It costs you 19 bucks. And what this is gonna do is say, hello, California, I am bringing these guns into the state. Now, you can also do this online, creating a CFAR site, so I'll leave some links below. But basically, you have 60 days from the time that you bring the guns into the state to actually register them with the state of California and say, hey, I have these guns. If you don't, you can get in trouble, but I'm gonna recommend that you do, because if you get caught with them, you just don't wanna get caught with them, right? Bonus round time. If you're moving to California, I highly recommend that you buy as many off roster guns as you can. Now California, if you're not aware, has what's called a handgun roster, meaning that we can't buy any new style handguns from any manufacturer. So all your Glock Gen 4, Gen 5, all the Glock 43s, uh, your new CZs, any cool 1911 that's new in the market, we can't buy any pistols that aren't on this roster, and this roster gets smaller every year, making the secondhand demand for these off roster pistols skyrocket. If you're interested in owning any handgun, I recommend you buy it. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, you can then sell it for more than what you paid for. So if you bought a ton of Glock 43s, some SIG 365XL, some Canik TP9s, all kinds of cool ass guns, buy them all. If you don't like them, you can sell them for what you paid for, if not double that. So if you're moving to California, I recommend you buy as many pistols and strip lowers that were done on a 4473 as a pistol as you can. So kind of covering everything in depth. Make sure your guns are not assault weapons. Make sure your guns aren't assault weapons by both name and by features. Make sure that you pin all of your magazines to 10 rounds. Make sure you don't bring any magazines that are capable of accepting more than 10 rounds. Don't bring any guns that are on the assault weapon ban list, but do buy as many handguns as you want. And then if you don't like them, you can sell them. 
Buy as many pistol lowers as you can. If you don't like it, you could sell it. And within 60 days, make sure that you fill out the proper forms with the California Department of Justice so that you can register with them that you brought these guns in so that you don't get in trouble if you ever get caught. Now, if you have any questions, I would love to have a discussion in the comment below. I usually respond pretty quickly and I like to be as helpful as I can. I hope that this video was helpful. If not, let me know and I can add some addendums, figure out what we got to do, maybe remake this video. But I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.